Do 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 do. We'll find a theme song. Hey everyone, thanks for sending your questions over Instagram. Really happy to see all the feedback we've been getting. Uh, this is the first of hopefully many questions or beers with Richie. Uh, I'm the Berg Dog. You may have seen me in other videos talking about Richie product. So hopefully you have your favorite beer. I know that I do. This week's Two Beers with Richie is brought to you by High Life, a personal favorite of mine. Uh, I think. Everyone has a beer, a cheap beer that they like drinking. Mine's always been high life. All right, so let's get to our first questions. How did you become now? I think there's a language barrier. Uh, all right, next question. Why do you think cyclocross has finally exploded in the US even though it's nothing new? You're right, it is nothing new, but I wouldn't say it's finally exploded. Cyclocross has actually had a pretty rich history in the United States. In fact, fan favorite, Thomas Frischnick, first came over to the United States to race for the Ritchie Cyclocross team. So I would say that Cyclocross has had waves. Um, it's a really exciting fan favorite sport because it occurs on a tight course where you can see multiple parts of the race without having to travel very far. So it's very spectator friendly. Uh, the other thing that's great about Cyclocross is it has its heroes like Fritchie, Sven Nyes, like Tim Johnson, and now currently we have Wout Van Aert and Matthew Vanderpool. So I would say it goes in waves, just like all forms of cycling. Dogs or cats? Man, that's a great question. Uh, I've always been a cat man. Um, you may have noticed in the photo, that's Tom's cat, Einstein. Uh, but I also love dogs. I think if I were to choose I would be a cat person. I'm a cat person. All right. I'm just, that's, that's what we have. Okay. When will you make a triathlon bike? Um, you can use any bike for triathlon, right? So if you're getting into the sport, uh, I would not suggest spending a lot of money. Um, use your road logic. They're perfectly great for time trials and you'll probably be way more comfortable than that dude that just spent $3,000 on some Quintana roof. Taylor Swift or Beyonce? Was that a dating app? Come on, bro, I'm taken. Uh, moving on. Uh, uh, blow up. Next question. Are there any plans to phase out rim brake frame production? Man, that's a good question. Uh, personally, I love rim brakes. To answer your question, the market is such that people just aren't buying rim brake bikes as much anymore. I would like to see us always have some variation of a Road Logic and a Swiss Cross in rim brake. Uh, maybe that would phase into like a heritage line so that they are available but I see a majority of our sales actually going towards disc brake bikes. When will there be Coyote Carbon Bars? I don't know. That's great. Is that something that people are after? Are people after carbon bars like that, like the Coyote, for frame of reference? Um, I think they're killer and alloy. Uh, we will have a classic version of these, so high polished silver. That's really cool. Pretty excited about that. Carbon, I don't know, let us know. Shoot me some comments. And will you ever release a retro mountain bike? Uh, you mean like a, a 2.6? Or like a rim brake bike? Um, retro, hmm. 
Probably not, but we do like to reference various bikes within our heritage. So if that means um, one of our heritage paint schemes, if that means some sort of throwback or reference to uh, some of the writers that help set the stage for Richie to be where it is today, um, yeah, I would love to. Uh, but a traditional 2.6, um, I don't know, I, probably not, unfortunately, I'm sorry. All right, will we ever see an updated version of the P2-Niner? Will you ever look at our website and find a bike called the Ultra? The Ultra is what cross-country riders think of as a trail bike or what trail riders would think of as a cross-country bike, meaning it goes a little bit bigger than a traditional cross-country bike would with maybe 100 mil of travel, um, but not so big to where you're jumping off 10-foot ledges. Uh, for California and for most types of single track riding in the US, Ultra is it. Um, it's a very agile, very responsive bike without having too much of a slacked out head to it. Buy the Ultra, buy the Ultra. Richie E-Logic, is that possible? Buddy, everything's possible. Um, it's whether or not you want it to be. I have a fillet project frame number 8P93, humble brag. Can you tell me any history behind this frame? Uh, man, so a lot of those project frames were made specifically for the team. Um, if it's a P series, most likely it was made for someone that was riding for Richie in the 90s. Um, if it's fillet brazed, most likely what happened is that frame was tacked up in Japan at Toyo and then Philip raised by Tom here in the States. Uh, at that period of time, from Tom's first frames in his garage all the way through the mid-90s, every frame that was sold passed through Tom's hands physically. So either he was setting the alignment or doing the brazons or uh, some feature of it Tom would work on. Um, your specific frame, uh, I can't tell you much more than that. There is a great website, it's called oldmountainbikes.com or oldmountainbike.com and they have a very rich uh, catalog of history for Richie. Um, highly suggest checking them out. Shout out to uh, First Flight Bicycles. Uh, they're the ones who set that page up, so thank you, thank you. All right, next question. Can I get a ride? Yes. Yeah, 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 come ride with me. All right. All right. Last question. Is this the last question? No. Uh, when will the new Outback be released? Um, all right. Let's see what else there is. Well, those are all the questions that we got for our first uh, two beers with Richie. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully you got something cool out of it. Um, if you have any more questions, please, <laughs> please feel free to send them in. Um, always happy to answer them, and we'll look to be doing these with a little bit more frequency, so hopefully every two weeks. Until then, uh, you know, Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook. Uh, we will be posting these on YouTube as well. And give our blog a follow. We have some, some pretty cool articles on there. And uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. And I guess I'll catch you next time.